All right, now that we have explored our 3D shapes and 2D shapes, let's go ahead and give them some names. We had a two-dimensional shape, remember? Side to side, up and down, but they're flat. Two-dimensional shape, this one here is called a circle. And our three-dimensional shape, rolling over here, see how it is nice and round? That is called a sphere. Some of you knew that already. This three-dimensional shape is a sphere. We know it's three-dimensional because it's solid. It does not have a place where it turns flat, like Mr. Circle here. But I wanted to show you something before we start playing with sphere. I wanted to write that down for you. Let me open this up. E er with a magic E. Sphere. Wait a minute. Some of you might be thinking, I hear a f sound in sphere. What is one way that we spell the f sound? In English, of course, we use f. This is the letter that shows us the f sound so we know which one to say. But in sphere, what letters do you see that are uh, making that sound, that are sh representing that sound, I should say? P and H working together. Now, in English, we have our f sound shown like this. In Greek, the f sound is shown with which letters? P, H. So there are many ways to spell one sound in English and then for Greek, just like some of you have seen this word all the time. Now, we see our spelling in Greek, O, N. Phone. So our f sound is being spelled with different letters in that word. Just something neat to keep in mind. So sphere, a math word, is a Greek word too. So we have our circle and our sphere. Remember when we're drawing one of these, it's easy to show that it's three-dimensional by putting the lines that show the curved surface. Okay, there's one example. So that we know it's a curved, it's not just a curved line, it is a curved surface. When you look at your math, my dear friends, it's going to show you, it's going to show you a sorting mat for sphere and not a sphere. So feel free to draw a sphere here because not everybody will have the mat out in front of you like if you had the paper but on Shobi you can draw the sphere using the pencil tool or the marker tool a big sphere or a small sphere and what is a 3d or solid shape that is not a sphere well we could bring in this shape perhaps this shape here it does have a round surface, but it is not round all over, so it cannot be a sphere. Or maybe even this 3D shape to slide these around. It is a rolling shape again, but not all over, so it is not a sphere. The only sphere we have is this guy right here. Do you have some spheres at your home? You can look around, pause the video, walk around and find some spheres, maybe tiny spheres or, or uh, huge spheres that bounce maybe. When I turn it over, here's another sphere, nice and red and round, and it asks us, do we have a flat surface on a sphere or a curved surface? curved surface. You can even see a steeler C followed by a U, curved surface. That E 
is gluing that C over there and it is making a sound. So we have a curved surface. Yes, that's right. Now, do we see those spheres here at the shape in the shapes below? Please color those spheres with a color of your choice. Then I have my shelf. We want the shapes and objects that are spheres. In each shelf, there is one object that is a sphere. Can you name them? And mark an X on those objects because we hunted them down. Right over here, the riddle is, I have a curved surface. So what shape am I? This shape or this shape? And here at the bottom, what kind of sphere would you like to draw? Or what is a real object that you'd like to draw? You can also get some hints from your shelf here, or you could look around your house to look for a real sphere object in your home or around you. TKs, you get a shelf too. Where are the spheres? Mark an X. Right over here at the top, find that sphere again. Here at the bottom, are these 3D or 2D shapes? That's right, they're 2D, they're flat. And we want to find out which of these shapes is a square, a square only. Here they give you a collection of school buses. Which number word shows how many school buses there are? That is the kinder and TK work for this um, activity about the sphere. Ta-da! Some movie magic and I have a new picture here in front of our screen. I have fireplaces or campfires, sorry. I have campfires here. If you looked at Papa and the Pioneer Quilt video on YouTube, then you saw that sometimes the wagons would stop and they would start a campfire before continuing on their journey. These campfires all have logs and there are 25 logs. So for me, I'm going to be using these toothpicks here. You can count the logs that you have also if you don't have toothpicks and you can also just watch on the video. So let's go ahead and put a toothpick log wherever there is a campfire log here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, ooh, earthquake, <laughs> thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Oh, finally, we filled up all of our campfires. How many logs did we use? 25. And we counted those one by one. How many logs do you count in one fire? Let's take this one here. One, two, three, four, five. What about the other one? One, two, three, four, five. 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 All of these campfires have five logs on them. Since they are all the same, we can skip count. Maybe it'll count, we will get to 25 a lot faster. I'm gonna clear my campfire mat here and bring out my board. We've skip counted before, didn't we? With our 100 days, how was one way that we counted to 100 without going one by one? By tens, if anybody remembers. Let me go ahead and do them on a vertical board. There we go. So by tens, we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, I know you're faster than Mrs. Grosby can write, 60, 70, 
80, and I'm running out of room, 90, 100. Skip counting by tens. Now, if I go ahead and erase this to show you, maybe one through 20. So go ahead and count that with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, squeeze, 10. After that, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And just for fun, let's go ahead and keep going to 25. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. All right, now I'd like you to watch. I'd want to circle all the numbers that end with a zero and with a five. So I have, here's five, that has a five in it. 10, what else? 15, 20, 25. And I'm going to write those numbers here at the bottom. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. We said we were looking for a faster way to skip count to 25 instead of going one, two, three, four, all one by ones. We are counting by fives. Go ahead and count with me. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. And you can keep going. There is just a number in between the tens. Let me write this in a different way. Oh, let me go ahead. I'll put five here. Then 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Can anybody guess the next part of the pattern? If here's five and then 10, and then look at 15. It's one and five, 10 and five, 15, 20. What comes after 20? 25, two tens and five, 30. So it must be 35. That is a way to skip count using fives. You take the tens and make sure that you add the fifth one in between. So when we have our campfire, and we want to count our logs, and we know they all have five, you can practice skip counting using fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. It's going to take some practice, especially when we're still mastering counting by tens. So if I, but you're already halfway there if you know all your tens, so let me go ahead and write small here. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. We've done that so many times. And make sure that you have, we fit everybody there. Give me one second. Thank you for being patient, friends. I wanna make sure we can get this all on the same screen. There we go, we squeezed it in. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Now I'd like you to, after that, write the fives that come after. So at 10, then it's 10 and five, 15. 
20, then it's 20 and 5. then it's 20 and 5. If we have 30, then we have 30 and 5, 40, 40 and 5, 50, I don't have a line there, 50, 5, 60, 60, 5, 70, 75, 80, 85, and the pattern gets easier and easier, 95, 100, and this one's a little brain stretchery, 105. You want to make sure you keep that spacer zero there. So when you count by fives to 100, it sounds like this, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 105. Just something to start practicing so you could be an expert in skip counting. And you can use your campfire logs to practice just up till 25. That's all. Thank you, friends. I hope you enjoy your campfires and sphere exploration. Enjoy your worksheets. Bye.